Hey, yeah, folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play City Skylines. We are in our lovely little town of New Air, and everything's going well. I'm actually really liking how our town is looking. I like, I like the, the sort of variety of styles of zoning, but to me, they feel like they're working together. I mean, maybe I'm just drinking the crazy juice. That's entirely possible, but I'm kind of vibing on it. I really like it. Anyway, there's no reason not to keep expanding over here. I mean, certainly we need to do it if we want to be able to make the city profitable. We have plenty in our coffers, though, so I'm not concerned about that at all. Now, we, we are currently in a state where we've got a few demands for things. There's still a little bit of low residential demand, but the big thing is um, work and shopping, right? We need commercial, industrial, and now office demand. So what I was thinking is this. Right over here, we've got this road with all of its lovely roundy beats. I think what I want to do is I want to set up a parallel road to this one. I don't know exactly where it's going to start and end yet exactly, but I want to set up like this. And I think I want to have it have a similar set of roundabouts on it. I'm just trying to see about making it parallel here. And then kind of like that looks okay. Um, oh, I didn't realize it was a larger roundabout, too. Am I happy with that? I think I am. Because, again, I want to avoid having one road that's a little too long that people start to use to drive through the city or thing like that. We also talked about having us loop around here in some sort of highway, which maybe, maybe we'll have these two connect to the highway somehow. But what I was thinking is just for a full parallel. Oh, interesting snap. So we're sort of going to roughly have a parallel. Coming off of these guys. The, well, this is a little tighter, but the other side wasn't. You can have little walking paths connecting these two blocks too. That's kind of interesting. I might decide to change these roads afterwards. Maybe I shouldn't draw them out completely, but we'll see. And then one more over there. And now what I want to do is I want to roundabout. So put in this little slightly more medium one. Boom, 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 like that. And my thought was, actually, do I still want to put down the pedestrian road? I may want to. Maybe not for each one, maybe just over here. And then going into zoning and the office blocks, low density offices. Now I'll put them on the other side, although no one can reach this other side yet. And maybe a little bit of commercial. Like that. And then we'll assume Oh, wait, hold on. This was um, a four lane. I should probably do the same thing. There we are. Just for some consistency there. And so I think this was all low density residential. And then, yeah, probably some higher Right, with a little bit of commercial on the inside too, with the assumption that the commercial might be a little less vulnerable to pollution. I don't know if that's the case. I think that was row housing? Probably row housing. Something like that. Now again, those that, well, I guess, ooh, it's got a connection through the pedestrian lane. But like, why are these buildings popping up? They're not reachable, but they kinda sorta are. All right, I think we have to do the other bit. Ooh, I hope we've got our, I mean, we do have fire services, I guess right over here. It's not that far a drive. Hopefully we can get there soon enough. All right. I don't know what's going to go on with these two roads yet. Oh, did I round about there? I guess I did, you know what? And I think I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna throw one there. Maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and delete these two bits right now. Ooh, I have some ideas, okay. Now, highway stuff. Do I want to just do a little two-lane highway like we've got over here? 
Do we want to go with just one of the bigger ones, four lane, two way highway? Or do we want to have a divided motorway like what we've got over here? I think I want to go with a four lane highway, but not divided. I think that's what I want to go with. I want to go with the continuous mode here. We're going to have to build an on off ramp over here, I would suggest. But for now, we're going to leave a little bit of a gap. Again, it's kind of a bit of a noise buffer. Have you connect up over there? Lovely. And then from here, what would it look like? I wonder if I should actually build an interchange here. Because what I was thinking is what if we just yeah, take the two lanes like this and go back to the four lanes kind of intersection are we building? Well, we probably want this to be a controlled intersection. With traffic lights. Like that and like that. It does lead to a really messed up corner. You know what actually would make a lot of sense here? Roundabout. You can even go with a, a larger one. I wonder if I should extend these roads out. You know what? Same thing here. Let's embrace the roundabouts. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, I'm groovy with this. Now here we should probably build an actual on, on off ramp. Um, how many progression points do we have? Quite a bit. Because I think they've got blueprints for it. I'm kind of curious to see what they've got. Oh, intersections is way over here, so we can't afford that. We might want to go ahead and unlock the large roads so we have an option. Oh, we do have four points. Hang on. All right, let's unlock these intersection blueprints. Is this a trumpet? I think it is. Yeah, I think we do this. Now, I assume we're probably going to have to bulldoze over here. So, let's do that. I'll pull back a little bit further. Of course, we could build our own, but I want to use one of these and see how it felt. I'm pleased with this. Now, are these four lanes? They are three lane highways. All right, so we unlocked large roads, but the highways we wanna do here, so we're just gonna connect you up that way. Connect you up like this. Good, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recurl this highway here. Highway, four lane, squiggly mode. Come off of that. End up over here. And then we've got two lanes. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Need our move it mod so that we can just tweak this over to the side. Okay, let's list this run. Now, I think from here we do need to access the this industrial zone so people can go to work. So going back to this regular road here. jump into that intersection. Uh, that kink does look kind of bad, doesn't it? Let's go into straight line mode from here to there. Okay. Technically, these turn exactly parallel, but it's mostly getting the job done. And yeah, the little civilian crossing, that's going to be good. Um, yeah, you're not, you're not in a good place. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to have to go away. get this running. Now, we still have a huge demand for industrial. I'll probably build it over here. I talked about doing an L shape. I still could. I could still limit these roads here. 
that might not be a bad idea still. Again, before everyone moves in. Let's grab you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab you. Cut through here. Um, ooh, I don't like that alignment. What's the hotkey for the bulldozer? Is it delete? Must be one. Maybe it's B? Not B. That little nubbin. Okay. And then, yeah, we can extend the industrial zone maybe a little bit around here. Again, near the highway because, you know, we're thinking, oh, the noise pollution and the... Pollution, pollution is going to cancel it itself out. A I mean, I don't know much about pollution, but I'm going to pretend it works that way. Due to poor road conditions, please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay out the here and then go into grid mode. This has been a local public service announcement. You're back with Second Moon Radio, your second musical home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for another hour of musical delight. I'm gonna go Tonight that big. We are doing a musical tour of Italia. Mm -hmm. So and this is definitely gonna get just regular industrial is gonna be fine. Bon, we do say. need some other road connections though. By the from here Vivaldi, to get to this block, I think probably from this bit here. Up um, I guess this is still a four-lane road. Apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest. Professor Nuff. Coming off of this, I think Welcome that's probably where we want so to keep a going. Housing still. shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological. Yeah, and then off to an angle so we can hit the sort of middle of this block over here. Actual rewards enjoyed. For example, okay, I like this. I think actually I might continue a two-lane road. Oh, that's why I was getting... No, 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 never mind. I was going to say, oh, I got confused with my clicks. I was in grid mode. And I was discussing the study of a statistical... You know what? Actually, I don't mind that it comes off that way. At all. Thank you, Professor. Oh, excellent. Okay. So, demand bars, of course, go down as things get filled in. I suspect our residential will uh, fill up even more than this here. But we got a decent start. Did we... We did zone the inside there. Now, that's the medium density, or... Um, the row housing, anyway. We do have some offices. Yeah, so clearly, like, that demand bar for the offices was really high. I don't know what that's proportional to. Clearly not, like, the population of the entire city. I'm wondering if it's just proportional to how much office you already had, which was zero, so it was maxed out. Now, a couple have come in, and that bar's gone away. So we've got a lot of zoning available. Wow, these, no one's even moved into these offices. Well, these are offices, too, but still, same. Mm -hmm. I'm sure people will be looking for work soon. We should probably get some amenities down over here. Um, we still haven't put down a high school, I believe. Let's get some small parks. Here and here. So, are we really having a big crime problem? Are we? Okay, we're a tiny town. What, what just unlocked? North America mixed housing, EU mixed housing. More farming industry type options. Communication development. Oh, yeah, we got post offices unlocked. Hooray! This must be just the crime corner right over there. I don't know if it's worth building another police station just to cover that. Just, why is it so bad over here? I mean, I mean, it's far-ish from the police station, but some of these other areas are too. Yeah, maybe what I should do is I should move this police station to sort of a little bit more on this side and then build another one, new one over there. That might be the way to go.
over by this intersection. So we can get places quickly. All right, hopefully that'll deal with that. Um, our electricity production, you know what? I'm fine with it. Again, if we end up being over or under, it's gonna be okay because we can sell or buy the difference um, to the region. We do have not enough customers. What if it's just too far from residential areas? I mean, you've got some right over here. Thin little row housing. Look at that, everyone's got the little garden. I don't know why their patio is so far from their house. I would have done it the other way around. I would have had the patio be near the house and then put the shed a little further back. Now you gotta walk through all the yard to go over there and be behind some sort of commercial building. But you know what? Oh, no, who knows? Maybe, maybe that's the way it is. Maybe that's the way it is in uh, in Erp or the Ook. Maybe this is quite common. Maybe there's a really good reason for it. Just seems a little bit inverted from what I would have expected and what I've grown up with. All right, I like, I like our little swoopy neighborhoods over here. Now we do still have some room. We could expand. We could add some more residential housing over here. It's clearly still something with a fair amount of demand. And it makes sense because people are looking for customers and probably workers. If we check these buildings here, yeah, they're not at full, they're not at full workload. Still low density. I mean that. I you know what? I really like that they've split the residential up because people really do have different demands. It's not just about creating a city with more houses. It's about the right kind of houses for what people are looking for. Which I suppose could be frustrating as a city developer. Yeah, not enough customers, not enough customers. Okay, let's develop the coast over here anyway. So I had said that I wasn't gonna be putting houses underneath the, um, the windmills, and then I went and built some houses underneath the windmills, but I kinda like it. Um, we've got... I'm gonna buy these so I can go right up against this coast. We might buy some more too. Well, let's just stay there for now. Curly mode on, good. We're gonna start with the road that is actually supposed to go along the waterfront. I could buy that little corner, you know, but it's mostly on the other side and we're not expanding there right now. So I'm not gonna worry about it. We will have to build some little, like, connecting roads over here, certainly. But we're probably going to want access to the highway as well, I would think. This road is ending up being quite a bit more curly. Little kinks along the way. Why not? Well, let's get the third one in there. And then we might, wherever we peel off the highway, which we do have a roundabout over here, might end up being a little bit more of a straight structure before it gets back into these. I'm wondering about another connection over here though. Like right over here, what if, oh, what if we continue? I know this is a highway. What if we continue sort of the straight line look, but here with a four lane road, coming off of this side. All the way to the end here. Yeah, okay, I like that. And then we can put um, a little commercial area over here or some higher density housing when people want it. For now, what I'm gonna do is we'll go to low density housing. I'll use the Marquee tool here. And I'll just do a huge block connection. Uh, you know, these areas are already zoned. I think they're all zoned low density, so I don't think I've ruined anything. Um, I might go, I'm just gonna go and delete the zoning along, along this for now. And maybe what I'll do is I'll make sure you've got a little bit of a, some local shops right there. And then we might just, um, designate this area to be a more thorough commercial district later on. Hope our water situation's okay. 
Uh, water. Water trade suit. Yeah, no, we're good. Excellent. And yet, if we can find a, there might be, an, we might have an out. Um, we might have a water connection for the greater world. We may not on this map. It's mine. It's like we had the, um, I mean, obviously the highways and also the power connection. This map may not have a water connection to the outer world. I don't see anything at a glance, so yeah, maybe not. Okay. See, and this is gonna, like, we can kind of almost consider this one town and then we can look at starting in another area with our purchases next time. How far can we purchase down here? Ooh, quite far away. I'm just wondering about on this side of this river, starting to develop this area. It's got rail, is that, I assume that's train. So we can build what was originally a railroad town. And I'm sure we're gonna sprawl one into the other at some point. But I kind of like the idea of starting another cluster somewhere. Begun dying more than usual. Might be an increase in road accident, might simply be caused by poorly organized healthcare. What? Buildings are abandoned over here, really? I wonder if they don't like this house as much and they're trying to move out over here instead. I'm wondering if those kinks, is that too, too wonky? I don't know, in real life, there's plenty of roads that aren't that smooth. I say that's fine. Yeah, a little bit of an anti-commercial. On the other hand, some of these are still complaining about a lack of customers, but that, I mean, it just might be accessibility. I mean, again, it feels like there's a lot of people here. Maybe the thing to do is finally get started on some public transit. Probably just some busing to start off with would feel appropriate for the scale that we're working with here. Yeah, I think that is gonna, what's gonna be what happens. Now again here, I think there's still gonna be some crossroads and connections, some stuff over here. These guys do have to drive a long way to get to work. At least once they get here, they're on a highway, probably to here and then into the industrial area. Speaking of, I think I'm gonna get two lane highway. There. The roundabout. You know what? Replace this with roundabout as well. Because otherwise, things trying to leave this commercial district to the or this industrial district to the zone would have to cross through a maybe a residential district to get out to the highway or drive all the way up here, which admittedly isn't that far, but I think this is probably going to be a good idea. I'm actually wondering if this sharp corner might be bad because if anyone's trying to make this corner, they might have to slow down too much and slow down some, some traffic. It might have been better to have the road come off this way and curve a bit. Uh, we just saw one truck go by. It actually seemed maybe okay. Uh, I don't know. See, that, that looks like they slow down a little bit. Oh, right. I still want to do it with the highway. We'll do the bigger roundabout as well. Okay, so the hope here is to make it so that cars that are going this way um, really don't have to slow down very much. Obviously, anyone coming from this side is going to have to do most of a circle to get around, but I think that's all right. Honey, you're safe with us. There's a new branch. Can I actually, like, click on the address for that? I don't know. It might have been nice. Maybe I can next time it's up there. What is this? Just a bunch of ore? Metal ore storage. Wow. I mean, it looks like sawdust, but I guess they're made, like, stone pellets or something? I, I'm not familiar with that kind of storage for things. Okay, what we'll do is we'll probably put a wrap in here, then in, and then none of customers. Am I making my commercial districts too big? Maybe there should just be more smaller commercial districts. It's a possibility. Although I am thinking one thing I'm gonna do here. There's a pedestrian street there. People could walk here and go there. Yeah, so next episode, I think we're gonna get bus service. We're gonna hope that that helps get 
people in and out of the commercial zones, in and out of work without traffic. I mean, we haven't had much of a traffic problem so far. I don't think there's anything horribly dire. As I say, it's a darker area here, but it's the shadow that's partially contributing to that. Now, overall, our traffic flow, I think, is really good. You know, sitting in 80% traffic flow, whatever that means. I guess, what, 20% of the time the cars are experiencing some amount of slowdown? We urge I, think that's, the to I don't think that's bad. During I mean, I don't really have much in the way of metrics in CS2 to compare to, website on but it feels okay. I'm not seeing any traffic jams. I keep worrying that there are, but then I realize they're just parked cars. Service announcement. What kind of future does music if we use different road roads that don't have street side well, parking, is that I why it becomes so important? Like, we have the ability to unlock we know you under roads, like parking areas. You keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind. Maybe. I mean, so far, all of our roads and do have parking. Our main feature store. Enough customers. The commercial district is booming as the area. I mean, you're level three. Maybe it just maybe you're just gonna down level. Maybe you up leveled, and then you didn't have the, the customer support that, so you're gonna drop it down again. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's all it is. Maybe it's not as dire as it seems. I mean, the businesses aren't closing down. I assume it's just leveling up, leveling it down. Any reason we know why these guys have been abandoned? Low noise pollution. I mean, unhappy. Poor education and services, lack of entertainment, story. unreliable the healthcare coverage. Okay, that's booming. pretty As legit. Now, school-wise, we just have the one school. The luxury, I think we should build another school and maybe a high school. For and I talked about building in this area, and I guess it's time. Let's start with the high school market. first. Or so my wife oh, it is quite big. That's good for We've got room for it good out for over the community. here. Thanks, Let me just close this so that we'll be back after this. you can see a little bit more clearly. I might encroach in that zone there a little bit, but. And then, is this real bad? Yeah, okay, so we still need regular school coverage. Aw, that'd be nice there. Well, I guess I could put it across the way this way. Oh, it's hard because of the road curvature. That should help out people. Um, they did still complain about entertainment. Is that just parks? I mean, we did put some over there. You still got the little complaint there. Well, these areas never got any parks. So these parks do seem to have a radius in general, but obviously they mostly flow along the roads. So we should get some connections over there, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this area yet. So I'm gonna leave it kind of unconnected. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a cut and then the next episode, ooh, air pollution. What are you getting air pollution from? As I say next episode, I'm definitely gonna work on getting a bus started. Uh, that's air pollution here, huh? Yeah, you're downwind from the industrial zones. Right. If I just plant a bunch of trees, will that help? Hmm. We should individually place some just to get like super high density. Well, you know what? That's a problem for future me. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. Uh, again, you know, like, comment, and subscribe is really important on YouTube. Much appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.